Our entire universe is made up of energy and matter. Matter and energy interact through four fundamental forces. These forces are gravity, electromagnetic force, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. We are constantly subject to the force of gravity, and we observe and experience the effects of gravity every day. Gravity causes two objects to attract each other. Each object exerts a force on the other to pull them together. The size of the force depends on the mass of each object and the distance between them. Gravity is the weakest of the four forces. It affects all matter in the universe, and it's effective over the large distances encountered in outer space. Gravity holds together planetary systems and galaxies. The weak force is actually stronger than gravitational force, but it acts only inside the nucleus of an atom. It is effective only on an atomic scale. The weak force is responsible for beta decay of atomic nuclei, in which a proton is transformed into a neutron or vice versa. The weak force is also responsible for nuclear fusion, which powers the sun. The electromagnetic force causes interaction between charged particles. It is the combination of all electrical and magnetic forces and can be attractive or repulsive. Electromagnetism is responsible for the structure of atoms, magnetic fields, electricity, and electromagnetic radiation, such as X-rays, visible light, and radio waves. The strong force is stronger than electromagnetism, but it's a nuclear force, so like the weak force, it dominates only on atomic scales. The strong force is responsible for binding and stabilizing an atom's nucleus. Gravity and electromagnetism operate over infinite ranges, so they affect matter throughout the universe. These two forces are responsible for all phenomena experienced by the unaided human senses. That is why scientists have known about these two forces for a long time. The Greeks knew of a strange property of amber, commonly used in jewelry today. The Greeks discovered that amber attracted small particles when it was rubbed. They called amber electrum, giving rise to the word electric. In the mid-1800s, James Maxwell developed a theory that showed how electricity and magnetism are related. People have always experienced gravity, but it was not until the late 1600s that Isaac Newton discovered that gravitation is universal in how it operates. Newton showed that the force of gravity, F, between two bodies is proportional to the gravitational constant, G, multiplied by the product of the two masses attracted to each other divided by the square of the distance, R, between them. Although Newton's theories showed how gravity operated, it could not explain certain astronomical observations. In the early 1900s, Einstein developed his theory of general relativity, which shows how gravity affects the structure of space, and hence exerts an effect on the large-scale universe. Following from Einstein, a scientific revolution in the 1900s resulted in the development of quantum mechanics as scientists explored the subatomic world and the nuclei of atoms. This new science resulted in models of the strong and weak nuclear forces, later confirmed by discovery of predicted subatomic particles. Quantum phenomena are important in many aspects of science and technology. For example, chemists can identify elements and compounds from an absorption or emission spectrum. The spectra result from the energy transitions allowed by the electron configuration for each element or compound. Research by modern physicists has resulted in a deep understanding of how space and matter are governed by four fundamental forces. The standard model of particle physics unites the strong, weak, and electromagnetic forces into one theory. The last great remaining challenge for physicists is to incorporate gravity, the fourth fundamental force, into the standard model.